Welcome to my weekly webcast. Uh, Ask Chuck is your opportunity through uh, Twitter, through Facebook, through email to get questions to me. I'm going to answer two questions that I've received this week. The first one, reading from my Blackberry, comes from Judy Consolblux, email. Are all the senators and representatives all going to use health insurance that is passed? What is good for the average people? should be good for all the people. You're absolutely right, Judy, and this is one of the things that came up at my town meetings quite regularly. Uh, and I have an amendment that was adopted in the Senate Finance Committee to do just that, uh, as you requested, because it wasn't in the bills originally and it was adopted uh, unanimously in committee. Uh, then when Senator Reed in the secrecy of his office tried to put, combine the bills from the Senate Finance Committee uh, and the Senate Health Committee, uh, he uh, did a very cute thing. Uh, he had members of Congress and their staffs, but leadership staff, which means all the people around his office of leadership, and all of the committee staff, and don't forget there's about 50 different committees and that adds up to uh, thousands of staff people on the Hill, that they would not have to participate in that program. So uh, Senator Co uh, Coburn of Oklahoma and I are going to go back uh, before this bill gets through the Senate and try to uh, patch and fix that so it gets back so all the people in Congress and all the staff of all the people in Congress, uh, without exception, would be covered by the same bill, uh, that uh, health care bill, that other people would be covered by. Uh, and uh, we intend to do that uh, yet during this debate. Hopefully we'll get a chance to do that. Uh, because it is my belief, Judy, that, uh, that members of Congress ought to be covered by the same laws that cover everybody else. And that's not a new thing with me with health care reform, because going back to 1995, I got <coughs> the Congressional Accountability Act passed, which uh, eliminated the exemption that Congress had given itself from several laws that affect you. In other words, prior to 1995, we had two sets of laws in this country, one for Capitol Hill and one for the rest of the country. So those exemptions from uh, work-related and civil rights and disability-type legislation, about 12 pieces of legislation in all, uh, that exemption no longer lasts, and I don't want an exemption for Congress on this health care reform bill either. Now I'll go to the question that comes from Brandolin Davenport. What, if anything, is going to be done about what's being referred to as Climategate? That's emails being uh, made public that weren't made public. Uh, are, we, uh, are we going to see Senate hearings in what appears to be a conspiracy to deceive the American people about the state of our planet. I hope there will be hearings, uh, but Senator Bach, Boxer is very much for uh, cap-and-trade legislation, uh, climate control legislation, uh, and she may not have hearings here, but there are going to be hearings going on in England because one of the places where this conspiracy took place uh, uh, was in, uh, in England, uh, and uh, there's going to be uh, United Nations investigations as well, because this is being done under the auspices of the United Nations. I'm not satisfied with either one of those. I want to make sure that there's a hearing in the Congress of the United States to see if, in fact, there was a conspiracy. Uh, the emails lead you to believe that there's a conspiracy, but I think we need to get more facts out on the table. The really uh, detrimental thing about the uh, making public of these emails is it looks like scientists really aren't as scientific as they want us to believe they are because any scientist any place ought to be willing to put his work up for peer review and these emails seem to uh, indicate what scientists in support of global warming legislation uh, didn't want to do is is obfuscate and put uh, obstacles uh, to peer review. 
and I think that's wrong. Uh, science is one of the few things, in other words, sound science, unlike political science, is pretty much more definitive. In other words, something stands until it isn't proved, or it doesn't stand until it is proved, uh, through peer review, to be very, very uh, accurate and follow the laws of science. So those are the two questions that came in uh, today. Uh, others came in, we'll answer those by mail. Uh, and uh, my report on what we're going to do this week in the United States Senate is continue uh, on as we have the last week on health care reform. Thank you and look forward to your questions next week.